All right. So I'm going to get a lot of I told you so's from a lot of people in this video in the comments. I hate to say it, but you were right. You were right. now all right dudes before we get really far into this video i want to let you know up front when these bad things happened i was pretty angry and i said some things that i may or may not have really meant at the time but i sat on this footage for a long time because i took the issues that happened and i sent them up to pelican and i wanted to see how they would respond uh, in regards to their warranties uh, but they did get back to me and i'll tell you how at the end of the video. It's got a really good ending. I think you'll be very surprised. Uh, they went above and beyond even more so than I think that some of the other well-known companies would. Uh, but the day started out as a YouTube collaboration with Mike Bennett from Get Out the House Go Fish. Check out his channel. He does a lot of cool stuff. And he was going out with us, Slot City Fishing. We're three brothers, two of us active duty military. Uh, we do a lot of travel videos, product reviews, how to's, surf fishing, boat, kayak, lots of cool stuff. So. If you end up liking this, chances are you'll like some more of our stuff. So subscribe, we're always doing uh, new content and big giveaways. Uh, we're about to hit 3,000 subs and we're gonna do a giveaway then. But let's get into the video. You'll see how it went from bad to worse. And then at the end, I'll uh, show you how Pelican fixed everything. So here we go. What's up everybody? Jesse Slot City Fishing. We got a special guest today, Mike. Get out of the house, go fish. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Uh, we're up here in a top secret location. My buddy told me about it. If you're local to the area, you can probably figure it out from the camera shots and stuff, but do me a favor and keep it on the DL. But uh, yeah, it's overcast, about 10 knots wind. Uh, the sun should burn up this fog, but my buddy's been killing it up here on trout. So me and Mike, uh, this is my first YouTuber collab ever. So we're gonna get out here and see if we can't make it happen. First malfunction with the pelican. No bueno. I think I might be able to fix it. My brass insert stripped out because my spine wasn't all the way threaded in there. So I somehow with my keys and my fishing pliers, I got out the nut and bolt and I screwed the fin back in. So I don't know how much thread I have left in there, but I think it'll work for the rest of the day. Man, I'm glad that's fixed because that would have sucked. Having to paddle this barge back. Dang, dude. So, so far today, it's freaking terrible, man. I'm gonna stay out here until I catch some dang fish though, dude. I got wind knots, I broke off, or I got hung up on my very first cast. It's not a good day. Tough conditions also, man. 
the forecast was not as predicted and it is super windy out here so it's high tide right now and i'm pushed way far back into a creek along a tree line to get out of the wind and my mirage drive broke because i'm pedaling through tall grass right now but what i'm doing is i'm seeing a lot of fish actually uh and uh what i'm doing is throwing an old ham jig head weedless into the grass and trying to pull the reds out of the grass and it's not really working out as planned right now but i haven't really had a chance to really fish yet because of all these friggin' problems got one finally yes First catch of the day. I don't think this guy's gonna keep, but we'll still measure him. Oh, All right, y'all, he is 14 and a half. Pretty trout, but he's not gonna keep today. We'll let him go. Shook the skunk though, man. No bueno, no bueno. The first time I was all right with it. Now, not good. That brass material must be soft in there. I mean, brass is soft, but especially soft. That's not cool, dude. All right. So I'm gonna get a lot of I told you so's from a lot of people in this video in the comments. I hate to say it, but you were right. You were right. I hate to badmouth companies, uh, but today's gonna be a negative review. Uh, it's about the Pelican Catch 130 high drive. So I had a Pelican John boat and I loved it. Uh, I also have had a lot of pedal drive kayaks. We've had five Hobies, uh, two pro anglers, two Outbacks and a Compass. I've never had any problems with those kayaks ever, okay? I bought a flats boat when I moved to Jacksonville because the current rips here and I wanted to be able to scoot really fast and uh, learn the area very quickly. So I wasn't using my pro angler, it was just sitting in the garage. So I sold it. Well, I instantly regretted it and I wanted to get back into kayak fishing. Uh, I do a lot of volunteer work with an organization called Heroes on the Water and I wanted a kayak to be able to go out there and uh, I film for them. So anyway, my one of my buddies down in St. Augustine, he won this kayak in a raffle and uh, I was in the market for a kayak and he gave me a super great deal on it. I was the first person ever to put it in the water. Everything was new in the box. So this is my fourth time taking out this kayak fourth time okay uh, I was gonna do a review a very positive review on this kayak uh, pretty soon because I feel like I've got a good feel for it I will say some positive things about it it's about the same size as a pro angler uh, it's 13 foot so between a PA 12 and 14 it weighs 50 pounds less than my uh, pro angler 12 it's pretty fast it has gear tracks all over it I can stand up in it no problem I will say this though if you're trying to buy this as a replacement or you think it's gonna be as good as a Hobie right off the bat, that's the wrong attitude to have because Hobie makes a super superior product, like way better. But the downside is they're very expensive. So anyway, I bought this kayak. Uh, I've had a blast using it. I've caught fish out of it. Uh, it's been good until today. The 
conditions today were pretty rough. It was about 20 knots wind and it was a super high rising tide. So I saw a bunch of redfish, their backs coming out of the water, way back up in a creek on a grass flat. And a Hobie Mirage drive is designed to be able to go through light grass. The new drives are even designed to, you can hit things in them, the kick up fins and the, it'll retract the mass. So anyway, I was like not thinking it was a big deal at all. I was chasing these redfish and I went into some light grass, very light grass. Uh, and I was doing the flutter thing with the Mirage drive. Well, uh, the mass got caught on the grass and then this happened. Luckily, uh, I used my car keys and my fishing pliers and I took out uh, this screw and nut and then I tightened the threads back into the, into the, it's a brass insert right here. And I limped back. I was able to use the drive again and get back. Yeah, I'm really glad I was able to fix that drive. That would have been a freaking workout. <laughs> back. Well, I, I'm a YouTuber, I make fishing content. I wanted to catch fish because I've had nothing but problems today. So uh, again, I kept fishing for a little bit thinking that I had uh, put a Band-Aid on and I could get through the rest of the day. Well, I hit some more grass and it snapped again. So luckily I'm only like 200 yards from the launch, but uh, yeah, this is my fourth time using this kayak and the drive broke on me. So yeah, all you guys, you were right. I'm gonna go through the warranty process and see what Pelican says. I did a lot of research before buying this kayak and everybody said that the warranties are really great and they send out people new drives, but it's a pain in the butt, man. Like I'm out here to go fishing, not have to worry about if my drive is gonna break or not. All right, guys, off the water. I've had some time to cool off. I was pretty frustrated out there, uh, but I'm not the kind of guy that likes to bring up problems without solutions to those problems. Uh, Pelican, when you see this, this is what happened. I'm not making this to hurt your business or anything like that, but it's something I think needs to be addressed because it's a safety thing. Uh, what happened is, I don't, I'm not sure what type of metal this is made out of right here. I think it's brass, uh, but these threads just pulled right out of there. So solution for you is put better quality materials in here and then thread this further into this receiver. On my Hobie Mirage drives that I've owned in the past, uh, when I've bent masts and stuff like that, I had to use channel locks and vice grips and stuff to, to be able to unthread those masts. They're so tight inside of their this female part. So, yeah, I know that you guys are new and this is growing pains with this whole new drive and all that stuff. But uh, like I said, it's a safety thing. I was way far back into a creek back there. And uh, I'm a pretty in shape guy and I think I would have made it fine paddling, but it was like 20 knots wind. And if it was somebody and it was their first time in a kayak, that could have been very unsafe for them, not able to paddle back. And then when you're far back there, you're basically in a survival situation if you're stuck. People have to call a Coast Guard and stuff for that. So yeah, to the viewers and subscribers of this channel, I always feel like I owe you guys a really honest uh, review. I'm not gonna endorse something that I don't think is a good quality product. So as of right now, I would not recommend this because uh, it's not very safe. Okay, so now you're wondering, uh, what happened? How did this whole situation end? So, um, uh, right after this happened, I wrote Pelican an email, described the situation. When I bought the kayak, I registered it on their website with the warranty information, uh, with the VIN number on the kayak. And, uh, pretty much immediately within like one business day, they responded to me. I sent them there. Uh, I sent them my address, and then within four business days, I had a brand new drive with parts to fix my old drive. Also, uh, so they went above and beyond to uh, fix it. Their call center, uh, where they respond to these uh, emails, warranty issues, I'm pretty sure is in Canada, and then the drive shipped from New York. So within four days, I had a, a all the all brand new parts. So the real question is, now that I got this new drive, is the same thing gonna happen again? So I don't really think it was their fault 100%. I don't think it was assembled very well. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, before I use this new drive, I'm gonna take out the mass, put Loctite on the threads, and then crank those suckers down in there. 
uh, to where there's no chance of only a few threads being inside that sprocket. Uh, and then on my old drive, what I'm going to do, a little experiment, is I contacted one of my buddies, Mike Morales from uh, Fin Factory in Corpus Christi, Texas. It's the Hobie dealer. And asked him if he had any Hobie V1 sprockets, like actual Hobie replacement parts. And he's uh, hopefully going to send me some of those. I'm going to put Hobie parts on that drive, and I don't think that I'll have any issues at all. So, uh, yeah. That's the whole drive situation. You probably also heard that there was a recall uh, on these kayaks. That was because the rivets that hold on the rudder assembly, some of them were leaking water, but now all the ones that they send out, they actually put like a sealant around those bolts. Uh, it's like a rivet, like a, I don't know if it's a thread screw or a rivet, but there's a cap with some sealant inside there. So that's not an issue anymore. So if you're on the fence about buying this kayak, I think I said it earlier, this isn't a Hobie. Hobie quality is super good. Uh, you Don't expect the same quality as a Hobie, but for a, uh, I bought this kayak for $1,000 brand new, and my brother bought one from Academy Sports for around the same price. Uh, you really can't beat it, man. It's a, it's a really good kayak. So uh, in the moment I was pretty angry, but uh, Within four days, I had a brand new drive and they went you know, above and beyond to fix the situation. So yeah, that's my review. If you have any questions about what happened, uh, write in the comments. I respond to every single question that you guys ask me. And uh, yeah, if you made it to the end of the video, man, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're always doing giveaways and uploading cool content like this. So yeah, thanks guys. See ya.